I like to think of our bodies and breathing in the inhale is when we go inside ourselves and we pull into our center and then the exhale is when we share and we contribute out. We have to have both aspects of those to breathe and to create and to really activate our potential. What well, you know, being a miracle maker is, you know, is kind of an inside out job because yes. we have to connect to that source within of, of the miraculous, of the magical, of the inspirational, all of that. And it's within. And it's so easy nowadays to look outside of ourselves and think, oh, well, that's it, or that might be it, or this could be it. Yeah. But ultimately, that is an inside job. You have to connect in. Even yes. we had physicist, physicist Nassim Hermine on, and he said, that is it. This is what I've discovered. This is what is the truth. You have to go in. And the farther you go in, the greater impact you'll have when you go out. And so realizing that you are the center of the infinite field of space and holding that stillness. And Elizabeth, I can't yeah. wait for you well, to and share. You guys are running. You're, you're right in what I was going to talk about because I found that um, it's, it's really that experience of activating yourself becomes a moment by moment experience as the old patterns come up or as uh, the world impresses things upon you that may be limiting or trying to uh, stop your expansion you have to constantly turn inward and remember that you are limitless and it's beautiful that you brought up Nassim you know I'm gonna see um, the film very shortly uh, um, with Malcolm Carter because um, I'm at the Illuminate Film Festival this week in Sedona and it's about this very topic and I, when I saw Nassim speak the first time it was such a powerful experience when I began to meditate and really drop into deep meditations I kept experiencing this place of deep deep void and stillness and I would meet the whales there mm -hmm. and I developed a very strong connection with the whales which is why I founded Ocean Nation you know that I really connect with the energy of the whales and how much what they do in that deep void space is create a wave of energy that shifts the planet so each time I'm experiencing things in my life and it happens sometimes moment to moment day to day we all experience these little things that that might feel limiting um, I, I drop into that place and I remember what Nassim taught that within us we have access to that when I was going into those meditations I was dropping into that place the vortex of the void of of the limitlessness of of who we are and what we are and what we have access to and that instantly, uh, almost instantly, usually will pull me into the new truth that I've, I now understand that I am limitless, that I am connected to everything, and that everything that I do does create a wave, a shift wave, exactly what, what you were talking about, Julian, yeah. that, that hits into the mass consciousness. So I don't consider any thing that I do unimportant anymore everything I do is important and this this thing that I'm doing with Ocean Nation feels so massive it feels like such a huge issue to address but I know that everything I do creates a wave of change that is waved into the mass consciousness and people are picking it up and that's such a blessing it's such a beautiful thing and what you're pointing out as the infinite universe exists everywhere wherever you go you're at the center of it all and um, great psychics great scientists great truths whenever we're and released these theories that have not been disproven they always even musicians Bach and Mozart fully heard everywhere in their cells in themselves and one of the most important things to realize that I think you shared Elizabeth is working on yourself how you do one thing is how you do everything and how you do that one thing being more and more present with it moment to moment 
allows your field, the infinite space, the absolute center to affect the rest of everything.